What started out as three conscientious Mumbai citizens' efforts to do their part in making the city a better place galvanized within no time into a social business model that's going all out to make its consumers think, buy, use and dispose of products responsibly. The idea of Be Eco, a brand of eco-friendly alternatives to daily use products in the home and kitchen category, took seed when Aditya and Anuj Ruya were on one of their regular beach cleanup drives on Jaupati sometime in 2018. One of the Sundays where I was with my father and my brother, uh, we saw a food wrapper which looked quite fresh. And uh, um, I looked into it and it felt quite intriguing and I asked my father, what, uh, have you seen this before? And he said that uh, it's actually of a chocolate which was discontinued in the 1990s. So the fact that this had survived for so long really shook us. When it comes to products in the home and kitchen category, plastic and paper still rule the roost. Despite the massive carbon footprint left by both. While one is non-biodegradable, the other leads to rampant deforestation. This also happens to be one of the categories where users dispose the most. It was 15 months of rigorous R&D that helped the founders of Be Eco arrive at what would be their key differentiator, bamboo, the raw material used for the majority of Be Eco's products. So bamboo is actually a grass. It's once you harvest it, it grows back again in four years, and you don't need to replant it, as compared to trees. Also, bamboo gives, takes in less water and gives out 20% more oxygen than a forest. Other than that, bamboo is carbon neutral. It actually takes it takes in the same amount of carbon than it uh, gives out. So that's a very the carbon footprint of bamboo is zero. So hence, bamboo is a very versatile plant which can be used in a variety of range of. Uh, products, be it the uh, paper and pulp industry, it can also be used to make biofuels and uh, compostable plastics. The poor man's timber, as it is also called, bamboo has always been intrinsically linked to lives and livelihoods in India. The northeastern states in particular have close to 60 varieties of the plant, driving a company like Beeco to source directly from these states. In India, close to 9 million people depend on bamboo for their livelihood, with total production going up to 5 million tonnes a year. However, despite its enormous potential as a renewable resource, India hasn't been able yet to utilise the plant to its capacity. A course that would not only work towards building a greener economy, but also help the economically weaker sections that largely depend on bamboo resources. In 2018, the government took some measures towards course correction, directing $200 million to the bamboo sector. Moreover, with companies like Be Eco, that is focusing on single-use home and kitchen bamboo products, a first for the category, things might just start looking up for the sector. When I look at the global market, there are players that are making use of these products. But when it comes to India, the category we are in is very unorganized. It's very segmentized, localized. There are a lot of players in this market and they are sort of happy and content with what they are doing. No one wants to innovate. That's why we thought, we also found this uh, category very uh, appealing to us because there was nothing uh, new happening in this category. Depending on environmental conditions, BEECO's products are set to degrade between two to six months. They are also priced at a 10 to 15% premium to existing non-green players, a comparatively cheaper price placement than other organic brands. The product is a 100% green product. The manufacturing is completely green. There is uh, no sense of uh, product or substance that is used that will harm the environment. But the one thing that we are hoping to increase or uh, people to increase with us is the logistics. For logistics, people are using a lot of plastic to wrap the goods with or the cartons and the whole uh, goods with the uh, plastic because now the rainy season is also coming. So people like and it's very convenient for them to use plastic in this manner. We are hoping to get a, 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 uh, this material which will help us substitute the plastic in the wrapping form. 
Today, B Eco products are available in more than 1500 stores in Mumbai and 300 in Bangalore, and have seen a 30% growth in recent months. Rahul Pabreja, who runs this chain of fairly sourced organic products, including those from B Eco, confirms that there seems to have been a definite shift towards buying organic. Definitely, there is an increased uptake in the use of greener products. Yes, the problem is a little bit about the price, but uh, I think people need to understand that it is better for the environment and better for our health and the health of the planet. The founders of B Eco take pride in the fact that they have steered clear of all paid marketing channels, positioning themselves as removed from an out-and-out -out commercial enterprise. Where we feel that it always has to be a cooperative uh, environment, especially in a country like India, where we feel that companies as well as individuals, as well as the government, have to play a role together to bring about change. Uh, Biko is just the mother of what we do, but eventually looking at sanitizing stations, uh, looking at plastic recycling plants, uh, looking at all of our products which we are launching today, helping consumers become more eco-friendly.